I started work in San Francisco Ballet pretty much at the beginning of Helgi's, so that's quite a while, it's 30 some odd years ago. In pop parts, I'm, I'm trying to move through different kinds of epochs. There's these kind of alternations between these strict, very formal sections and these rather amorphous, yet still counterpointed structures. The music itself doesn't have a lot of structure, so to speak, but it's up to me to invent musical structures as if they were there. If you wish the audience to really see what you're doing, you have to pique their curiosity. I do not want to see steps. I need to see you shape time. The relationship with San Francisco Ballet is successful because of the dancers. You come for the quality of the dancing, and that's what's been consistent here. It's always been a very, very high level of dancing. The dancers are involved compositionally. They have that responsibility to be co-composers, to look at the composition and dilate it. The crest of the wave of ballet history is in each dancer's performance. It is continuing the conversation, allowing the dancers to participate in this universal language. So if ballet, then this. And the dancer hopefully will provide their insight. Helgi has provided a really diverse repertory for the dancers here, which enhances their skill set. They are fully contemporary in the sense that they are open to processes. For me, it's an incredible pleasure to come here. I was thinking today, wow, this feels like home. People are retaining things, they're improving things, they're suggesting things. And Helgi comes in, he watches rehearsals. It's a really great atmosphere, it's very supportive. And I think people could probably do their best work in that kind of environment.